Hi to everyone. Now we are in Baku. It's the capital of Azerbaijan. I like this city very much. It is very beautiful, so I want to show it to you. I want you to feel the vibe and the atmosphere of the city. So I filmed this small video with our slow walk around Baku with some city details, people. So before watching the video, subscribe to me to see more of a digital nomad lifestyle. Well, Baku is very beautiful, quite windy in April and it has a lot of marvelous buildings of peach color. It is also a very tasty city, all the food here is just marvelous and all the people here are very friendly. They spend a lot of time outdoors, not so much time as Asian people in Thailand or Vietnam, for example, uh, but still they have a lot of walks, uh, picnics and so on. It is beautiful just everywhere you go, but be sure you have some warm clothes if it's not summer. It also has a lot of hills. Uh, so, for example, riding a bicycle here is not so comfortable. And sometimes uh, to get to your destination you need to climb the hill or go down it. As for some facts, Baku is the capital and largest city of Azerbaijan, located on the coast of the Caspian Sea. It is known for its modern skyline featuring the flame towers, iconic structures symbolizing the city's energy resources. Baku blends historic architecture with modern developments, such as the UNESCO-listed old city Ichiri Sheher, with its maze-like streets and medieval buildings. I will show it to you a bit later. Because now it's time to eat something, and as I have already said, everything is very tasty in Baku. You just need to find a local restaurant with a lot of locals in it. For example, here we took borscht and uh, dolma. It was very tasty and uh, cost about uh, 15 manat. Manat is the currency of Azerbaijan. And one manat is a bit more than half a dollar. So let's continue our walk and talk about history of Baku because Baku has a rich history dating back thousands of years. It has been inhabited since the Paleolithic period and has been ruled by various empires and civilizations, including the Persians, Arabs, Mongols, and Russians, of course. The city flourished as an important trading center along the Silk Road. By the way, we saw the Silk Road in Uzbekistan too. By the way, we are now at the Fontaine Square, one of the most famous squares and uh, most uh, central and popular squares in Baku and we like it very much. You know, today Baku is a vibrant and cosmopolitan city with a mix of modernity and tradition and it is really seen when you just go along the street. There are a lot of museums, some cultural events and I am sure that young people live here quite a vibrant life. Everybody here is so stylish and so beautiful. And as Baku became part of the Russian Empire in early 19th century and became the Azerbaijan Soviet Socialistic Republic within the Soviet Union in 1920, a lot of people in Middle Ages and older speak Russian fluently and young people speak English fluently. Some young people speak neither Russian nor English, that's why we have to learn Azerbaijan language, uh, but uh, successfully it is very similar to Turkish. 
because Turkish and Azerbaijan people, as they say, they are just one people. For example, the numbers are the same in Azerbaijan language and in Turkish language. In modern era, Baku experienced significant growth during the oil bloom of the late 19th and early 20th century, becoming known as the black gold capital due to its vast oil reserves. And now we are going to the old city, we won't have a lot of time to visiting it today, but still I can give you a clear picture of the old city. We love visiting old cities, so we have explored old cities in Turkey, Antalya, in Kipros, Paphos, and it always has special vibe, special atmosphere inside, something ancient, cozy and precious, something like this. Uh, there are also not only cozy and beautiful houses, there are a lot of souvenirs, they are a bit more expensive, but still you can buy it and uh, have a special feeling that it is from the old town. Uh, also everywhere in Baku you can find a lot of great cafes and enjoy the food as I have already said. It is quite fat here, but still it is just one of the most uh, delicious cuisine in our life, in our travel around the world. By the way, I am traveling around the world with my husband, so you can subscribe to my channel to see more of our adventures. And give this video a like if it is interesting and if it gave you some information about Azerbaijan and Baku. These are the iconic flame towers, yes, yeah, you see. And now we are going from the old town to the Baku Boulevard. And you see everything is blooming now because it is April. It is a bit windy because we are in Baku in April. But still here on the boulevard there is small Venice, which is very marvelous. And uh, there are a lot of uh, scooters and bicycles which you can rent for just uh, four minutes an hour and uh, ride them. A lot of local people do it. Oh, by the way, here you can see the museum of uh, the Azerbaijan carpets. We are going to visit it too. And write in the comments if you want to visit Baku or have you already visited it. Maybe you can give me some advice where to go. Thanks for watching my video. See you!